Ну ладно. Ладно. Oh, this is not gonna get to it. I have to do drama alert. God, can you start? Jesus fucking Christ. Nope, dra drama alert. Fuck. Why, hello there. Okay. You. So. I've already gone through the video a bit. But I want to highlight this video just so that everyone can see how dishonest and how much of a horrible reporter Keemstar is. And how he just like doesn't have any idea how to stay neutral on a point. Like you can't, if you're reporting on something, you can't show your own opinion to the matter because it, it shows you have a bias. So in this video, you'll see that he's a massive fucking bias towards KSI or to wherever, like, whatever, like, whatever seems true to him. And because of this bias, he totally fucking misses, like, some clear stuff that's going on here about, like, what's actually going on or, like, what could be going on. And he just totally takes KSI aside. And it's hilarious. But I usually don't give a fuck about this beef. But um, it kind of just popped up. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? Like, I know of Deji. I know of KSI. I've, like, watched him in the past. Because I like FIFA. And they're, like, major YouTube, FIFA YouTubers in the past. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways. I don't like... Anyway. All this stuff. But it was such a low... It's such a fucking dumbass take. By Keem here that I just need to respond. Killer Keeb Star. News! KSI has responded to his brother Deji in a 80 minute, 80 minute exposed video. That's right, the hour and 20 minute video is titled Ending It All. Now, before we go over the contents of KSI's response to his brother Deji, first, we need to talk about how it started. KSI said that he didn't want to put ads on it, but he decided that it would. Roll it. Also, personally, I don't think content like this should be monetized. However, I'm going to be putting ads across this video and putting all the money made from so, this video and giving it to various... So listen to this. Uh, this is the first, first charities, case of, like, yikes. Uh, for reasons that I'll talk about later in the video. All okay, so first... We have no idea if he's actually going to do this. Thing. There's no proof that he will actually do this. He's just put some links in the description of of um, of charities, but there's no evidence that he will actually put. Like you have to wait until he actually puts it into a charity to to say like congratulations. Right now, he's just putting ads on the video. He, we have no idea if he will actually put the video, the money from the video, into a charity. All the charities that I'm going to be given the money to will be description down below. Okay, so the money made on this video is going to go to suicide prevention. Now, Well, Keem, you don't actually know that, but good assumption. There's the first problem. But there is a yikes take from this. And there's this is where the clear bias shows up because he's just completely ignored that KSI might not actually give this to charity. It might be just an excuse so that he can run ads on it because he wants money. Because it's super obvious. If I was to just make an assumption here, even though I shouldn't, but I'm going to make an assumption the opposite way of Keem. And you can tell me which is more likely. If, if I'm KSI, I know that this video will get millions upon millions of views and people are going to watch it to their entirety. No, fuck, no, <laughs> you, but you didn't, because fuck drama alert. This guy's really, this is a super stupid take by Ke by Keemstar. It's really fucking bad. I just went over how, so listen to this. This is like the first yikes. So KSI is explaining that, like, he's, uh, 
KSI is explaining that he any money that is generated from this video is going to go to charity. Charities. Uh, for reasons that I'll talk about later in the video, all the charities that I'm going to be giving the money to will be description down below. Okay. But we have no proof of this, but here's, here's, here's fucking Keemstar's hot take. Okay, so the money made on this video is going to go to suicide prevention. Now here... Nice reporting skills, Keemstar. Good job. You don't actually know that. But then here's the yikes part. And this is where Keemstar's massive bias is just shown on full display. Even though it seems like a yikes take. The yikes take from... Yikes take from uh, Logan Paul, I think it is. But we'll here's the crazy thing. Within this video, there are clips of when Deji went on Logan Paul's podcast. And Logan Paul apparently copyright claimed the video. Keeping the money for himself and not the suicide prevention. Can't Even though we have no idea. You <laughs> don't see ad I, yeah, and it's soup. That's why I'm like responding to this because it's super apparent in this fucking video. Oh my god. It's because it's being claimed by Logan Paul's now. So what's the. Who claimed it? Studio 7124. Claimant. So who owns Studio 7124? What is it? Studio 71-24. 71 dash 4. So no one seems to know who these people are. Apparently it's a studio with different numbers to claim multiple different videos. It seems like it's just a claiming company. Yeah, I <laughs> know. But I want some views on this video, so I'm responding to it. Because this one was like extra spicy. Because this seems to be like the whole conclusion, so I don't need to go over the other ones. This is just the spicy conclusion. But let's see who Studio 7-1 is. Is indeed a German company founded by the German TV network company Brebsen, yeah, which became a subsidiary company of CDC, changing its name to Collective Studio. It seems they merged together. So there's, it's currently right now this Studio Seven One thing has no connection, no connection to Logan Paul. Unless, of course, we can somehow connect. Studio 71 to Logan Paul, which I doubt happens. So it was claimed by Studio 71. If you don't see ads, it's because it's being claimed by Logan Paul's network. St Studio 71. What's this one? A local host had a trouble on YouTube. Studio 71. Gold Media Company for Creators, who are the fastest growing digital network with 7 billion monthly. Okay, so this is the actual actual studio. Okay. So we gotta find out this is, if this is if this is Logan Paul's studio. Oh, it looks like it might be. Is that the same thing? This is the Verge. Our creators. Let's see. 1,300 YouTube channels. You wanna show me the photos of them? You find, okay. So this is the global media creator. Can you show me who your creators are? You fucking, oh my God. There. So the people who are part of Cordor Digital, Rhett and Link, <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, Matt Santorio. Epic Meal Time. Hmm. 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 None of these look like Logan Paul. Hmm. 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 Literally just search it up. I can't, I mean, unless, of course, Logan Paul is, like, somehow, like, under the rug a creator for these people. I don't, I don't see him here. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to just see your Instagram. Basically, fuck me, dude. Hmm. I mean, I can't. I, I don't know. This is from the website themselves. That's the studio. Or the network, I should say. So, okay. Network. Now, guys, think about this, okay? Logan Paul got in trouble for the suicide forest. He's yeah. been on this suicide prevention campaign ever since. And now KSI is putting ads on this video, and that money is going to go towards suicide prevention, and Logan Paul's taking it. Except so if you don't know that. <laughs> no, there's another bad one. Because I just searched up Studio 71, and there's no mention of Logan Paul. Obviously, you would any think Paul that brother. Logan Paul would immediately remove the claim, well, you're wrong. Logan Paul responded to KSI's tweet by saying this. Ha ha ha, F you, cat. Now, why would he respond to this? Well, we have no idea. So let's make a bunch of assumptions. <laughs> well, uh, bad move, Logan Paul. Very bad move, Logan Paul. This money is supposed to be going to suicide prevention. But anyhow, let's get to... You don't even know if it's going to Logan Paul. All you know is that Studio 71 claimed it. And Studio 71 seems to be a network for a bunch of YouTubers. And none of them, out of those images, is Logan Paul. So unless, of course, Logan Paul is somehow a sneaky, a sneaky network guy. Is it on his, and it's on his Twitter? What am I supposed to be looking for? Oh, okay. So he's backtracked on it. Okay. So what is this? Is this like a reply? Okay. So you made one tweet about it? Is that it? Okay. So you ba fuck. So you backtracked on it. But obviously Keem's not going to mention that. the contents of KSI's response to his brother. But that's just the problem with, like, breaking news cycles, right? Hmm. Yeah. This video is insane, okay? We find out in this video. I mean, oh, is it like not even on here? But he just says this. So he might have deleted the tweet. But I don't see it. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But it seems like he took it aback, but Keemstar on that the breaking Deji news cycle. has been nonstop either lying, manipulating, or leaving out facts. Or it's all true and now KSI is manip manipulating. But you're not going to stay neutral on the matter, so... <laughs> the proper way to report on this is... KSI has brought forth his side to what's going on. KSI is... Um... Um, KSI is arguing, or he is, uh, stating that K that Deji has been the one lying and not himself. Do we know this for sure? 
I don't know. Let's see. Let's look into it. Like, fuck. But instead, he's just riding the dick. To harm his brother, destroy his brother for personal gain and for his channel to succeed. Oh, this is my favorite hot and take. And it is just, it is just depressing. I mean, Deji has been manipulating and lying about everything. Except you don't know that whatsoever, because this is the spicy take you're about to take. Now, first of all, let's talk about the so-called abuse or pain or however you want to call it. Deji made a claim. Listen to this fucking bias to a motherfucker. Oh, it's super bad. In his original exposed video that KSI was mean and constantly hitting him and blah, 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 blah. blah, 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 blah well, blah. you know, it seems like Deji left out a lot of parts. Roll it. A lot. But through the progression of those videos that we did, you know, on my brother's second channel, slowly and progressively, it started to get more violent from throwing controllers. You need a piss off! Fuck you! To throwing bottles. Oh. Belts. Oh, you think what? it's your problem? You what? I'm gonna yeah, you can't belt me. You can't belt me. You can't belt me. I just want, uh, I just want. So that's like from his video, you know, it seems like. Okay, so I was just belt. beating on him. On I just belt. want to pull my belt. Because I'm pretty sure right after this is KSI's Give take on it. Give me my belt. Give me my belt. Still, in your video, you removed the laughter. With this clip, yes, I did throw the bottle, but again, why did you cut out the laughter? Oh, Sure, he, oh, I was gonna listen to laughter. <laughs> so he laughs, you know what? You know what, maybe it's because, yeah, oh, he laughed, you know what? Well, A, that doesn't make it okay still, because laughing is a coping mechanism, that's obvious, and B, I've watched Deji's video. He mentions that, yeah, I've even laughed in the... Like, we could go to it. We could fucking go to it. I'm pretty sure he says this. Like, eh, that'd be wrong. Yeah, like, laughing is a coping mechanism. That's clear as fucking day. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Why did... <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I, I want to start off this video. So I don't care about that. So with this video, if I ever had to like write it down, I couldn't. I honestly, I couldn't. Even Where's when the... he lost this deal with Microsoft, I was still supposed to Like obviously at the time, I saw it as all fun and games. But when I look at it now, even- See, ah, oh, he thinks this is all, this is like literally common shit for any abuse victim is that at the time, they think it's fine. Because, well, they, he loves his brother very much. He explains all of this. But of course, Keemstar is just going to leave that all out. It's not staying neutral whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, that's a, a yikes take. I would say, I would bring up like the statistics for it instead of just like wife beats. <laughs> wife just, but yeah, no, I get your point. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just a coping mechanism. Like this is clear. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is basic abuse victim like knowledge whatever like you'll laugh it off you'll think it's okay you'll tell yourself it's okay and then later you'll realize like holy fuck i was in a horrible fucking relationship so you just like this is the only thing ksi says that oh he cuts out the laughing guys he cuts out the laughing like <laughs> now with this clip you implied that i hit you with the belt but now this clip this clip might be you know some eh maybe so a little bit of sketchy cutting you watch maybe the rest of the video but I it still doesn't excuse the rest of it my chances are falling my chances are falling give me give me my belt Give me my belt! Give me my belt! <laughs> alright, alright, alright! Who won that? You! You! I won that? Yes! You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen, I won that. Shame, because you never once told me that you are comfortable with... Yeah, because it's very difficult to do that when he just wants to be with you, like, again... Clear abuse, like, abuse victims, this is how they act. They think it's all okay. They just want to be near you and a part of you. It's very hard for them to come out with this shit. Like, fucking Jesus. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, too, is sometimes you have to, like, laugh it off or do whatever it takes to stop, to get it to stop. Be it laughing, be it conceding, be it, like, yeah, 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 you won, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> this is all basic shit. But, you know, Keemstar... Half a million views. You know what? I gotta take a side, guys. I'm a I'm a totally neutral reporter. Killer game star. Any of the videos that we were making. Uh, okay. 
So it's like, yeah, here, you know what? This is, like, they're going back and forth, they both agree to this. This is like, you know what? This is like a video that they both were doing. I'm mixing it. Yeah, because you're trying to put too much power into the accuracy. Dude, you even reacted to the slavery fee for years after and showed how much you enjoyed it. I was mad happy about this because I was the first. So again, one like maybe score. these are yikes takes. Like you know what? Maybe Dead is wrong about a couple things. But that's okay because the, a lot of this is fucking bullshit. Like I don't believe any of them. What I'm here to respond to is Ke Ke uh, Keemstar being a fucking moron and like <laughs> taking a side which he has n knows nothing about. Like he has no idea what's going on. And Keemstar like will just roll out these fucking videos over and over again and never correct himself. Ugh. And that may not even be evidence that like this itself is like a is like a, a coping mechanism because KSI is constantly beating him up, so he finally gets his chance and whoops his ass. You can see this in like uh Oh fuck, I have no examples. Shit, well, uh, that's a useless point. But you never know, right? You hit in the face wait, what? You hit in the face, I hit in the face KSI, you hit in the face KSI. What? Unbelievable and just straight manipulation. Kim, <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Straight manipulation. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, guys. Straight up manipulation, bro. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> guys, that's clear manipulation, guys. Guys, that's obvious manipulation. I don't know what I'm talking about, though. <laughs> like, fucking. Ah. <sighs> oh, from the gnome. Deji, but also Deji kept going in on these diss tracks and how his brother KSI was always siding with Randolph with the diss tracks. But in so many cases, and we haven't even thought about this. Oh, this is another Deji spicy take. The bias is just so fucking like you can grab it. You can literally grab the bias and just. <laughs> has went on the side of other rappers. Making diss tracks on his brother KSI. <laughs> KSI and KSI, KSI brings up this point, showing that Deji is just super hypocritical. Even though we're about to tell, it's uh, just. Uh, we had a group chat. Yeah. And he pretty much just made everything in that group chat public. You're right. I've been living in the side men house. I took your room, bitch, to kick you out. Cause you ain't paying rent. You couldn't find the cash. Let me clear the air and take out the track. So that's like, you know, pretty personal stuff. And we could go on. Well, yeah, you know what? I'll let it run. Me? What really, really, like, hurt me during that whole thing was not the diss track. It was how my brother reacted to his diss track. Instead of my brother keeping neutral or even sticking up for me, instead he decided to, instead he was sticking up for his friend, claiming that everything he said in his diss track was true. Just supporting him. Take a job, you need to relax, G. Back in LA, I was paying for your taxis. You're the poorest rich man now. Hey, that's true. <laughs> so, like, this is, like, some deep stuff that he's, like, saying, like, true, true. Like, some stuff nobody knew about and had any, like, could not have known whatsoever. <laughs> you're wishing you're famous. Now, Deji, tell me, are you brain dead? Because you still live with your parents. I got loyalty deep, too busy to... True, like, like, just some stupid oh, deep stuff, right? No! So this one, I forget what this one is. Oh, no! <laughs> so more like personal stuff, you know? But it's all, it's all bad. It's all bad. Oh man, I was being neutral, did you? I even... <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> I was being neutral. I was also confirming all of the stuff said about you. But I was being neutral, Deji. Come on! I even said it. In the beginning of the video. Uh, that doesn't matter whatsoever. If you said in the beginning of the video. If you were going to be neutral. You wouldn't say that these things are true. Oh my fucking god. Uh, wow. So why are you getting annoyed at me for saying true. At what Randall said. When you've done the exact same thing. Well. So before we get on to him doing the exact same thing. Because he does it a couple times. Even though it's like magnitudes lower than what he did. I'm pretty sure somewhere in here. Today, he talks about how my uh, brother, pain is a recurring theme. I mean, even our latest challenge we've done. 
Uh, even I'm pretty sure at some point here he talks about how he specifically told him not to put this out in the public. Uh, so here's the clip here. As well as in his second diss track on me, he shows a private video that was between me and my brother in yeah. his diss track of us sparring, which was just between myself and my bro. And that was in his diss track. Which further shows that my brother played a part to his second diss track. This sparring footage was just between me and my bro. It was sent through text. It was just for our eyes only. And that's what my brother said. That this sparring footage is for is for his eyes. And so at least, at least on the sparring footage, he said that this is for just us. So, I mean... That's manipulation on KSI's part. But again, to stay neutral, you would have to concede that both of them could be being super manipulative. Or it could be some grand conspiracy that they're both doing this to boost both of their channels. Because it's going to go back and forth, they're going to get subs and back forth, and then maybe they might make up later, and it's all over, and they've both gained from it. But, that would also be a dumb take, because you have no fucking idea, okay? So you, to stay neutral, you would concede that both of them could be skewing this any which way, because they are doing it. In this, Deji's showing that, or saying, we don't know if it's true or not, that that sparring video, at least that sparring video, was between them two. You could assume that a similar conversation could have happened with the other texts, but no one's talking about it, so you don't know if it's true or not true. But here we go with the spicy hot takes from your boy, Killer Keemstar. How are you making dumb fingers with a straight face? You had to wear a suit to school, you fucking disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's like you know old but it's not even close to as deep as the other stuff but what he had to wear a suit to school was that it Straight face, you to wear a suit to school you fucking disgrace that's actually isn't that common knowledge hasn't he talked about him going to a private school in the past so that's common knowledge a suit to school, you fucking disgrace. <laughs> So again, common knowledge, which isn't private, that's common knowledge, I'm pretty sure, as far as if there's evidence that is not common knowledge, that he never talked about him going to a private school, then okay. But again, going to a private school and uh, exposing him on a bunch of other stuff is uh, totally fucking different. Keep that hidden, you so scared, why? What you hiding more, is it your girlfriend or your hair? So now his girlfriend hiding thing, you know what? Maybe that's too much of a take. Maybe. Maybe that wasn't completely private uh, public knowledge but again it's just a rap about him hiding his girlfriend not who his girlfriend is not where she like not like a major it's just that he's hiding a girlfriend so again pretty light stuff that he's saying true to very light stuff he is hiding his girlfriend i ain't lying he is he's, he's spitting facts jj is hiding his girlfriend and not once have i ever said anything about it until now just saying everything there's like a post on like somebody took a photo of JJ with some chick. That's like where the whole thing started from. <laughs> thing every allegation in his diss track was true, and I just I I took that as a low blow. Instead of supporting me, he decided to support his friend. Every allegation in Randall's first diss track is true. Okay, I'm not going. And to then here is again confirming it again, and his excuse is, "I'm not gonna lie to my fans, guys. Why would I do that? Why would I lie to my fans? <laughs> Anything you tell me in private is true, Dad. I can't lie to my fans if someone else brings it up." <laughs> to lie to the audience. That's. I'm sorry, Dad, but that's just not. Also, it's not. So now <laughs> that's confirmed that you can't tell KSI fuck all because if anyone in the audience asks him about it, he's not gonna lie about it. Even though you don't have to lie to stay neutral, you just don't talk about it. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. Randolph by lying and saying it's not true just for your benefit. No, you don't have to. Say, uh, 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 there you go. You don't have to say it's not true, KSI. You just have to say. You just don't have to comment on it. You can just go. Unreal. I mean, throughout this video, it's just lie, lie, <laughs> lie, manipulation, leading. <laughs> And then Keem just comes back in with lie, lie, like you don't know any of this, Keem. Like, what are you fucking doing? <laughs> oh my I mean, fucking god. Deji is so in the wrong, and KSI has. Even though he knows nothing about him being in the wrong, because he, because Keem literally knows fuck all. We have no idea. Maybe KSI is lying. Maybe Deji's lying. Maybe they're both lying. Maybe they both have completely consented. Maybe this is some huge. You have no fucking idea. <laughs> like, what kind of reporting is this? Holy proved shit. himself innocent today in a very big way. Now, another very, very key point. Deji said... Wait, how did he prove... Did, 
Wow. Did he actually just say that, like, that KSI video was him proving himself innocent? No in way. The wrong, He's that dumb. KSI has proved himself innocent. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! Wow, KSI is a real noodle head. Holy smokes, dude. <laughs> today in a very Proved big himself way. Innocent. Now, another very, very key point. Deji said if KSI lies or manipulates, you know, that Deji was going to sue his own brother. Well, a lot of this is stemming around the fact of Deji talking to underage girls or girls that are 16. I think the legal age in the UK is 16. But Deji being inappropriate with underage girls or girls that are very young, I guess. And well, KSI addresses this and says... They're all true. Everything being said is true. And this better, this better have some real evidence. <laughs> I'm gonna jump out of my chair and lay down on the ground for a quick second. There's proof. Roll it. What really upset me is not that my brother's gonna be responding. What does this have to do with anything? It's that my brother is trying to dig up dirt in his response towards me. He he tweeted out, you know, if anybody has any stories with me, to DM him. And it's, it's just, it's sad that he's now going that path. He's going the path of destruction. All right, so let me explain this tweet. Yes, I was annoyed. Yes, initially I wanted to highlight some of the allegations that I have heard against you uh, regarding women. I wanted to bring them to your attention to make you realize that what you've been doing is wrong. I'm sorry, but it was just frustrating that in your video you were claiming that you had done nothing wrong and that all of the allegations were just false but with so many women coming forward with similar stories these he's not gonna do it he's not gonna show anything he's not gonna show it hold on i'm just i'm gonna place myself i'm gonna quietly place myself on the ground before this happens allegations you'll, you'll if you never don't do. look so false to me to be honest and to be honest your second video just adds to the credibility of these women why would you make what? a video to defend yourself when you don't even know what i'm going to say why would you go so far as to threaten me with legal action when you don't even know what the allegations are if you didn't think that there was some truth in them then you wouldn't have no. anything to worry about no. but because they're just know what i'm gonna say yeah that's the problem he doesn't know what you're gonna say so if anything that, that's the threat is if you say anything defamatory i'm gonna sue you <laughs> what are you oh i hate this there's crumbs all over the ground my fucking rug's all fucked hold on gonna say yeah that's why he threatened you with it like if you said anything don't say anything defamatory you f <sighs> oh my god just allegations i'm not going to publicly address it instead i'm gonna privately oh the women who've came out okay well where are they buddy <laughs> i'll send you the stories that these women okay have come forward with and i hope that you do the right Wait, what they send you the stories that these women have come forward with and can I you, hope that you do can you show the right us thing in first acknowledging that you have in the past made several women feel uncomfortable as well as feel manipulated and then secondly can you can you show us any evidence of that apologizing to these women and any other women for that matter the whole video was literally not an attack i did not lie at all in the whole video well we all know now how untrue this is i even have a conversation a DM From conversation how? that my brother had with a this fan. This isn't about me trying to destroy you. This is about you learning to take responsibility over your actions. You need to own up to your mistakes and apologize. And not just... What? What? What mistakes, guys? What? You haven't shown us a single... Like, what the fuck is this... Like, what is this reporting? I. It's so mind-boggling how, how awful this is. <laughs> Oh, there's no evidence being shown. Like, this is, guys, this is, this is Keemstar. Guys, this is proof. Roll it. I'm gonna spat fucking everywhere. Nothing has been proven so far. <laughs> Just the ones you've been called up on. I mean, your video was supposedly about making me realize what I've done wrong. Well, I'm gonna make you realize what you've done wrong. So, 
I have the screenshots of you talking to her Show em. on Facebook. The only reason Show I us. messaged her was to make sure that the screenshots were real. Now Show us. I know that they are. Either Show way, I'm not going to share anything Show us. because that's just not fair on her. But yeah. Oh. So currently there's no evidence whatsoever that this happened. If there is evidence, you have to show us because, or she could just go to the police with it. Although it's like international, there's a lot of tough stuff with that. It's a little sketchy. But just you, you can just show it to YouTube. They'll ban him. You just need to own up and apologize, Dage. Her words herself, and I don't want your brother to know I message you either because he doesn't seem like a very nice person. Like when I told him no, he was so like desperate and somewhat manipulative trying to get me to send screenshots. And that's her words herself. So that's an actual screenshot of the text, which is more, I don't know if the text could be faked, could be whatever, but that's an actual screenshot of the texts, which is more proof than anything KSI has shown right now. But again, the neutral take is, we don't know if that's true or not, but let's listen to see if Keem will come in again with some hot fucking take, even though he's saying that this is proof already. I, I did not coerce her to say any of this. These are her mm -hmm. words. So she explicitly says, I don't want your brother to know that I messaged you. So what do you do? You post a public video about it. And now I know that she messaged you. How is this fair on her? You know. Sure. Maybe him showing this is a little wrong. But it's also proof that you're a... It could be proof. Maybe it's a fake if not. But it seems like he's confirming it right now. That, like, he's a manipulator. Why would you do that, Ditchy? You're doing her so wrong. Ignore what's in the text that makes me look like an idiot. Like, look like an asshole. Ignore that, because Deji shouldn't have shown this. She wanted that to be private, guy. Now I know. There's a reason why she doesn't want you to know. <laughs> like, what? Know how you know her. You know the first conversation you had with her. You know, and I know, what was said. Do the right thing. Own up to your mistakes and apologize. I mean to Sure, you know what? That might be a good thing to do. Maybe Deji does need to own up to something. Now, Keemstar, that doesn't mean it's fucking true. <laughs> Take me to call over the anticipation of allegation. Just No, oh my fucking god. So he doesn't even know how to fucking court he threatened you with the suing of defam uh what is it, defamatory action? I don't know. Anyways, with a claim. Doesn't mean that he's putting the claim forth. He has to first see defamatory action, which maybe Deji sees this as defamatory, and now he's going to take you to court over it. Not, like, preemptively, like, I'm going to take you to court first before you say anything. Like, what? Screams guilty. Besides, how are you going to... No, it doesn't! Oh, my God! Saying that I will sue you if you say something defamatory is not at all screaming guilty. Because if it was true, it's not defamatory. It's you exposing him. So if he can sue you for defamatory action, that means you lied. So I'm just waiting for this to go through court. If it hopefully does, that'd be great. So that someone could come out as the right or wrong person. And we can move fucking on. Because the problem is what's going to happen is people like Keemstar, him, KSI, and Deji, they could just loop this around in YouTube for as long as humanly fucking possible, collecting as much views as humanly possible, and nothing real will actually happen. Because... Deji won't sue him, or KSI won't sue him, or no one will take it to the police, or anything like that. Nothing real and tangible will actually happen to show us who's in the wrong. It's just views being spl like splurged onto YouTube, saying like, No, he's wrong! No, he's wrong! No, he's wrong! No, he's wrong! Look, guys, I'm supposed to be a neutral reporter, but look, he's wrong! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck it. Cool. When there's proof. I have evidence. You can't see Show us the evidence, then! Character. If it's true, you're not even defending yourself anymore. You're just... Oh, but maybe you're lying. Threatening me now. All he needs to do is just take responsibility. It's not a threat if it's not true. Oh, guys, that seems pretty guilty to me, boy. You don't have to feel threatened if it's not true. Fucking... Dude, that's it. He's older than me. Just take responsibility. I said he's going... To attack me. I haven't attacked you at all in this video, Dej. I have simply responded and defended myself. I've only spit facts. Facts are not to defend. <laughs> from everything you have said in your video. I have taken responsibility. And now you need to do the same. Unbelievable. I like how he's responding to a video that happened in the past. In the past, as if it's like the present. Like, listen to this. So. I said he's going to attack me. I haven't attacked you at all in this video. 
<laughs> See what I'm saying? So this is in the past. Deji's saying that he said that he's going to attack me. This is a view video in the future so saying, look, I'm not attacking you. Yeah, you just made the video. <laughs> Obviously, you're not going to attack him if he's calling you out for attacking. <laughs> to attack me. I haven't attacked you at all. <laughs> like, this, the other video didn't happen after this video. <laughs> uh, I fuck and me. defended myself from everything you have said in your video. I have taken responsibility, and now you need to do the same. Unbelievable. Throughout watching this one hour and 20 minute video from Chaos... He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to take KSI aside one more time and claim that he is, without a doubt, in the right. Even though there's no evidence on the table. <laughs> you could just see that, like, he has just been constantly attacked over and over and over again by his own brother. And he... <laughs> KSI doesn't even need to play the victim card. Ke Keemstar's got him, dude. Keemstar's got him. He's like, take the victim card, KSI. Take it. JJ, take the fucking victim card. I'm giving it to you. I'm perpetrating like your victimhood right now. Holy fuck! Just sick of it. So much personal. You can you can see that he's totally sick of it, guys. We guys, you just gotta look inside your heart to realize that KSI is in the right, even though there's no proof being presented. That's not the side of my heart, but. Uh, that KSI conversations, that KSI's bank records, like so much personal stuff has been leaked by. KSI's own brother, Deji. Yeah, because if it's... this, is, I like this spicy take. Guys, you can't believe anything Deji said because he's leaked personal inf information, even though it's personal information that he's leaking to strengthen his position on the matter, and KSI is not doing any of that because KSI either doesn't have any evidence or is actually just hiding evidence which would be really dumb if he actually wants to clear his name it's like it's like if you had evidence that your so your brother makes a video saying that you murdered somebody and shows a photo and shows a photo on youtube whatever of you and you and the dead body right next to each other whatever and maybe it's clearly fucking photo no it doesn't even have like it's 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 a photoshopped image or whatever um, and you can, and, and then, and then you, and then like, so let's say a video was made. My brother made a video about me, um, saying that I murdered somebody, even though he did, but he, I murdered somebody and he puts it on YouTube saying like, Oh, look, my brother murdered this guy, but get, get him cops. And I come up with a video saying, guys, guys, I didn't murder him. I didn't murder that person. Guys, I won't show you the real image. I have the real images, but I won't show them because that would be disrespectful to the dead body. So I can't show you the real images of my brother killing the person I, because it would be super disrespectful. But trust, I didn't kill him, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> that KSI has had enough with it. He finishes the video saying this. Roll it. During this period. What my brother wants is he wants... My parents to pick sides. That's what he wants. You know what I want, Edge? I want you to stop saying my parents and instead say our parents. Because oh, wow. A 300 IQ take on that one. You know what? You got him, Deji. I mean, JJ. You got him. You got Deji, bro. You fucking slammed him. He was saying my parents. Fuck. Up. Oh, video's over. KSI wins, guys. Because I am part of this family too. You have made me an outcast throughout all of this. You talk to any of our friends and Even though there's like a- in like- in like Deji's video, there's like an audio recording of JJ freaking the fuck out. <laughs> and him kicking him out because of it. And his- uh, Right here. The fans turned on me, further showing how we just manipulated the situation. So there's this, there's like some, like, kicked out of my house, bro says he said he'll call the police if I stay, my parents just look, look by and allow it, lol, shit's fucked up, man, after all the years of helping this boy, just sad, whatever, you do you, fam, and here's the fucking, like, audio log of this.
This is JJ's recording. Right. Further things happen when I ask my brother to leave my house, but I'm not gonna mention that. I'm not gonna mention that in this video. He then he started playing victim on social media, saying I kicked him out on Christmas for no reason, whereas there was a huge reason. He was at, he he was he didn't come here to talk. Like, like brother to brother, he came here to fight me. I mean, he said he wanted to talk, yeah, he was recording the whole situation, which is just, like I said, it shows manipulation. So I too was recording the situation, but not for the public, mainly for my safety, as well as my parents. I only started recording when I locked myself in my room, in my office, because he wasn't acting like he wanted to talk, he was acting like he wanted to fight me. So this, this caused us to have a back and forth on Twitter, but of course, as he has more followers, as he, ha as he was playing victim, people were just ignoring me. They, they weren't, take, they were just saying that I was lying. That they, anything the I video? Said, I just not just show the video. Didn't matter. To make everything I said was just going on deaf ears, because because no one fully understood why I kicked him out on Christmas. It just made it look like I kicked him out on Christmas because I didn't want to see him. Obviously, I should not have kicked him out on Christmas. And to this day, I do regret it. I shouldn't have kicked him out on Christmas, but just for the safety of myself and my parents, and obviously my computer and my valuables, I asked him to leave. So this further put me on a downward spiral because this caused me to get hate on all social medias. I started to lose subscribers, fans. So there's no video about it? <laughs> I even started getting thoughts so maybe life was better off without me. Okay, I was honest. that's a stupid I, I was just saying, like, what was, what was the point? God, I was getting these people are so fucking dumb. Further things happened when... So I think that's KSI's like recording of like the ending where he's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here, boys. <laughs> but then Deji doesn't show his own side. Oh god, this stuff is so fucking annoying. Ask them who has caused the most hassle. All of them will say you. You have literally made my life a living hell. And all for what? Views? Except for the fact that he's the one living with his parents still. I feel like almost 99% sure, sure if like, he was that bad to his parents, would have he would, they, he would get the kick the fuck out. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Subscribers, you always say that family comes first, but that's not true, is it? Huh? He's to gonna start you, crying. He's gonna start crying. He's gonna start crying. To you, the oh, fans is this real first. evidence? If you want nothing to do with me, then uh, why did you react to my song? But you want no fans wanted it, but you want nothing to do with me, so you uh, wouldn't. So wouldn't you ignore your fans, or do you? Oh my God, this. Or do you do everything your fans tell you to do? When it comes to YouTube, fans come first. So you want you personally. So what? So want you personally want comes second. Tell you. No, oh my God. Well, you know that you should always put fans first as there's, as they're the ones who make us us. There. Okay. Good job correcting that. Holy fuck. You want to resolve this for. For the fans, I'm not deleting any videos because my fans saw how you treated me. Do you want to resolve this just for the fans? Do you struggle to read my answers? I literally said that what I want is exactly the same as what my fans want. It's a yes or no question. Do you want to resolve this just for the fans? Yes, lol. Okay. First, I've made so many attempts to try and fix that's our. A, that's a pretty dull fucking text back and forth. That literally means nothing. But uh, family issues. I've even suggested that we go see a therapist, but. Oh, it's real tech. Oh, God, these are so fucking blurry. You can't read that. You straight up can't read that. Oh, my fucking God. You, you honestly, book it for yourself. That's the same text twice. Oh, okay, it's the full thing. Book it for yourself because the three of us does not believe in it. It is of the devil. We certainly will not be attending and we're not interested. We believe in we believe in talking about issues. I suggest you don't waste your money because we, we will be not attending. I've spoken to your uh, dad and does not believe in it. So sorry you're on your own this one. This The problem is that you're not listening to us and that is why your brother is fighting you. Only God can solve this problem, but... It's a shame that you're surrounded by people that are not telling the, you the truth. Rip. Sounds like his mother had a 400 IQ take. So you can't read any of this text. And the only one you can properly read, if you come, great. If you don't come, then you're... And we'll show where the problem is. I'll something, something to book in something. 
like you straight up can't read any of this. The only way you can read is his mom's text, and his mom is like saying that like he's not listening to her. So nice five you head just take. Refused. I'm just so tired of. She refused for reasons, and that was like his uh... fighting a losing battle with my own family, man. I'm tired of. Yeah, well, you're the crazy one. There's that. There's that. Feeling we don't like know. An outcast. Yes, I can do better. But now, do you feel like an outcast because you're the idiot? Or are you actually the outcast? We have no fucking idea. But so can you, man. Like, I'm Maybe. at the point where... Maybe. I can't Maybe you're both retarded. Who knows? Take my own girlfriend to see my family because I'm scared that she's going to get exposed and my brother is going to use that information against me. I... Um, he already knows? He's like been on. There's a vid in the other in Deji's video. There's like a clip of him being on Logan Paul's or Jake Paul's like Logan. I think it was Logan Paul's podcast or whatever. And him and he gets asked a question about KSI's girlfriend and he ignores it, like a true person who wants to stay neutral. I'm scared to even text my family because I'm scared you're gonna just screenshot message and just post it even though you did publicly. text your and i'm scared to even family. call my family because i'm scared you're gonna just take one negative thing that i say manipulate the audience and just make me look as bad as possible i'm just sick and king tired of it he's gonna start crying he's gonna start crying guys even though these are just kind of words that you're speaking here, not much of them mean anything. Deji has also said the same thing, so it's a little sketch sketchy, right? Um, he's like, Deji's brought up that KSI has forgotten his mother's uh, birthday, so there's a couple sketchy things going back and forth here. So again, we have no idea who's right or who's wrong. The video that KSI oh, that, that's today, the end of the video? himself. Showing all the times that Deji has lied. To well, um, yeah, but there's no actual evidence for any of them. To his own Anything you've accused Deji for, KSI could also be doing. But good 2IQ take, my friend. Fan base lied to the public, leaked personal information. Uh, KSI has also done that. Manipulate it, play the video. KSI, so the KSI could be doing that right now. Like, how much dick are you trying to suck your dog? <laughs> like, Jesus. Certain parts of the story out. It, it's what parts of the story? Just the laughing ones? Because, again, the laughing could be left out. Because even if it is left in or left out, um, those are telltale signs of, like, abuse. Uh, people will laugh. Uh, their abuse off because well they don't really know any better they're stuck in this situation they love the person that is abusing them and they don't know any better yet and it seems like the reason why this video came out is because that just realized that it was all wrong but just, i mean it's he's the neutral reporter guys an overwhelming amount of evidence that Deji... Overwhelming amount of evidence. Overwhelming amount. Are you actually fucking this... Uh, yeah, he is this dumb. I don't even have to... He's in the wrong, and that his fans are fueling. <sighs> even though all, Deji actually also brought this up, that KSI was doing stuff for the fans. Good neutral take, my friend. Holy fuck, he's dumb. A liar. Now, I know some of you delusional Deji fans will be typing in the chat, you're biased. <laughs> I just need to respond back to you. You're stupid. <laughs> there's facts and there's opinion. And everything KSI gave is opinion or not fact yet. It may not be opinion. It's just anecdote. No, not anecdote. Uh, unverified statements. And the facts are all on KSI's side. La what? What facts? It's literally just been KSI talking. If that's fact to you, then you're dumb. There we go. It's fact, guys. I said it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the video today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you take the time to a slap a like on it. dumb You'll take. Definitely... Oh, my fucking God. K uh, Keemstar is so fucking stupid. Like, I, f I knew he was dumb before. Like, this is just, like, low IQ fucking bullshit. But fuck like that's why i'm like subbed to see his like low iq crap but like holy fuck because he went on like he was on with destiny that one time 
and uh, Destiny like ripped him open because like in the first two hours of the New Zealand terrorist attack, he's like, ha, "Guys, I this is uh, the guy's like goal was to get us to fight, so let's." Uh, uh, he had written the manifesto. It's like, do you know he wrote the manifesto? It's like, no. It's like, mm -hmm, problem. <sighs> my fucking god. Make some no, of those no. dead like, oh my fucking god, he's so stupid, dude. Anyways, that's my take on this. I, I don't really want to title this so I can get, like, mucho vivos, but who knows. Um, <sighs> fuck. I just need to take this take because... Oh my god, is it fucking horrible, dude. It's just, like, the worst thing ever. Like, it's so bad. Like, are you actually... Does Keem actually unironically think that he's a, uh... Um... A neutral, like, good reporter? Or is he fully aware that he's completely biased and dumb as fuck? Because if he's not totally aware of that... Yikes.